today we're looking at the Lego Star Wars magazine. Uh, the one I've got in front of me here is issue number 66, which retails for £5.99 in the UK. And this one comes with actually two front mounted giveaways. We've got the Jedi Interceptor, which has 33 pieces. And then we've got the A-Wing, which has 44 pieces. If the instructions for both of these are not in the magazine, I may have a breakdown. There is no way I will manage this from scratch. So, Jedi Interceptor is the main toy. So the A-Wing is a bonus toy. I've got a couple of posters advertised on the front. So inside we've got a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Very familiar words. And you've got... Is that supposed to be General Grievous? I think that's General Grievous and that's Luke. Cool Jewel with the Atat. The uh, index page. So on the story, yeah, we're on the forest moon of Endor because we've got Ewoks. Spring, spring. They are very good at setting traps though, Ewoks. Pew, 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 pew. Sorry, I have to do it. I have to do the blaster noise. There's just no way that you cannot do a blaster noise. R2. Oh, I love you, R2. Unfortunately, I'm 3PO. I'm not a protocol droid, but everything has to be done in a certain way. And, yeah. It, yeah, I am C3PO. I can't argue with it. I really can't. The husband decided to drop that on me when I got the R2-D2 set delivered. Um, so, Attack of the Ewoks is a bit of a maze thing. Where do they need to drop the rocks to be able to hit the stormtroopers? Oh, I am so glad this is a classic Star Wars. Force Awakens just killed the whole thing for me. Um, I love the first trilogy. I love Phantom Menace. Haters can go boil their heads. I love Phantom Menace. I even like Jar Jar Binks. And it, the other two, Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, were pretty much meh. In fact, I'm not even sure if I've got them in the right order or got the names right. Um, But I watched Force Awakens and that, apart from BBA, it was just like, new no, let, let's not air so i haven't seen any of the others i haven't seen solo or any of the spin-offs i don't have disney plus so i haven't seen the mandalorian but grogu is exceptionally cute and i have a fun called pop grogu because i'm very easily affected by hype but this this is proper star wars there we, there we are the attack chewy Lando, at least I'm presuming that's Lando Calrissian. It's too long since I've seen the films. Mm. Mm. Guess what? Could, could be coming up. Oh, and then the posters. So we've got the child, which things out of place. I've just been saying how traditional the story in this is, and it's all around the Ewoks on the forest moon of Endor, right down to them using Stormtrooper helmets. There's a TIE fighter helmet in there. Um, as bongos. And then in the middle, we've got a poster of the child. I know it's the same franchise. Oh, Vader. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I know I need to get a lie. I really don't care. Uh, Droids are really important in a galaxy far, far away. How well do you know them? Find all the droid names in the grid. But it gives them you there, so it's just basically a word search. What is their obsession with mazes? So we've got another couple of mazes here. You've got a Rebel Alliance and the Empire. And then spot the differences again. Rebel Alliance, Empire. I am on this side. I am Empire. Mainly because bad guys are more fun. But there you go. Atat, absolutely awesome. Yeah, the Atat is absolutely awesome. 
And I don't just mean this model, I mean in general. But yeah. Oh God. 40 years since the Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, thanks for that. Love you too. So that's the Jedi Interceptor instructions. At least they're in here. It's a start. And there's a small comic, Slaytown, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Yeah, we know how that goes. And then build with the Jedi or the Millennium Falcon. Don't think that's the UCS Falcon, fortunately. It doesn't look big enough to be the UCS Falcon. So Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ben. And then issue next issue on sale from the 13th of January. And it's got a tie interceptor. God, I hope I've got that. I'm pretty sure I have because these seem to come about quite a lot. And then you can cut out here and make your own puzzle. So cut it out and put it back together. And it's got two sides again. So you've got Sith on the back or Empire. You've got Rebel Alliance or Jedi on that side. So what do we do if... There's no instructions for that other one. Hopefully it will tell me. That's them both cut off. Oh, instructions were quite from the back. It could be quicker. Ho, ho, ho. So, so these are the instructions for the interceptor. No, there isn't a map in there. That's a shame. All right, so look at the interceptor, the one by one. It's I've got a little red dotted, basically. Cut into it. If you come. Hang on a minute, is that the right one? Yeah, it is. Oh, hang on a minute. Which way around do I want it? That way. Yeah, this is meant for children. How difficult can I make something look? How do you see why I say it? I always need the instructions. Ah, uh, no. I've done wrong. I haven't done anything wrong, so why does it look wrong? All right, so that one goes there, that one goes there. Ha ha ha, I see, I see, I see, said the blind man as he walked into a lamppost. You can tell I'm not very spatially aware. I'm also having to concentrate rather hard on this one. Which I'm not going to lie, it's low-key embarrassing. Let's say that goes there. Oh, so that's going to be the arse end of it, because they're going to be the thrusters, I assume. And again, we've already established I'm not very good at these things, so I could be pretty wrong. I want to say there's a burgundy ready piece appeared out of nowhere and I found it. I missed a step. Story in my bloody life that. Oh, I missed a step. Put that on the wrong piece. Oi, oi, oi. 
getting tired now. It's been a long day. <laughs> getting tired, it's been a long day. It's 10 to 7 at night. Right, so which one do I want first? That bit goes this side. That bit goes that side. Dot goes there. Oh, I see. I get you. I get you now, dude. Then. There you go, that's the Jedi Interceptor. <laughs> it's a Lego Interceptor that's just had a wing drop off. Major mechanical failure. Oh my god, there you go. So, legosteps.com and enter the item number found on the back of the packet. It looks like we're going online for this one. One by one. One of those little... Holy shit. Yeah, right. Bear with me one minute. No way I can figure this one out without uh, a little bit, bit of assistance. And where were we going? Lego steps. .com. And enter the item number found on the back of the packet. Ah, there. A-Wing. Lego Star Wars instructions. Yay, that went easier than I thought. Only problem is, it's a tiny screen, and oh, so it flips just after I put it back, you know. Give up. Right. Pinch and scroll, pinch and scroll. There we go. This is riveting recording, isn't it? Absolutely riveting for you. Thrilled. Thrilled for you. To watch me look stuff up on a bloody website. Oi. No. And even then I managed to get it wrong. Do you know? I thought I was going to have to get a uh, brick separator out then for a tiny build like this. That would have been humiliating, wouldn't it? Would have been a teeth moment, I'll tell you that for bloody nothing. Yeah, this isn't the best for doing on uh, a small phone screen. I would have been better getting my tablet, which is just up the corner charging, because it's always on charge. Mainly because I tend to leave it on when I go to sleep. Four of these, what am I doing without four of these? Oh, I see. One, two, oh, not one. Three. So that's four of them. Two. 
happy with them. A bit concerned there's nothing supporting the underside of them yet. Some quite decent sized pieces in here. Oh, I feel a bit better, that's a bit more anchored now. There. Lots of upsy downy on this one. That reminds me. Sorry, I didn't realise how far, far back I was from the camera. I do apologise. You just sat there staring at nothing, listening to me sighing. That sort of build bit there. Where you put the uh, jumper plates on and put that on. It reminds me of making a lot of the ninja go dragons. That's a technique they use a lot. Oh, print this, yeah, you must be kidding. There you go. Presuming that goes straight down the middle. You don't catch me out. I saw the two. Plus, there is nothing more annoying than that. Get to the bottom and it shows you two of and you're going to kill somebody. Right, done both of them. Oh, I get you. That's why you put that on so it gives you that little bit of lift. Ah, it's actually pretty smart. Could have done without having to look instructions up on my phone. And it would have been better for me to build it over here, but oh my god. This one is I think it's safe to say it's a touch fragile. So that is the Jedi Interceptor. It's a bit fragile, keeps wanting to fall in bits. But this one, the air wing. Now that, that is a clever little sod. That really is quite a cool little build. Apologies for doing it all the way back here so you couldn't see it. But yeah, not too keen on that one because it keeps falling apart. And it's nothing I've done wrong. It just because these are those shaped plates and you've got weight at this end and you've nothing anchoring them underneath or on top. So the side heavy so they easily come off because they're not attached all the way around either which is a bit of a problem but this one look at that and it really does look like the air wing i mean even if you only wanted it for parts it's got some actually both of them have got some really good molded parts in these windshield pieces for a start so yeah, there we go. That's the Lego Star Wars magazine, issue number 66. Retails in the UK for $5.99 and it comes with both of these little models, the A-Wing and the Jedi Interceptor. So I hope you enjoyed that quick look at the magazine and the builds. Have a great day and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.